Did you know that professional Japanese manga artists don't use regular pens for inking their work? Instead, they use dip pens. These special pens can draw lines that become thin or thick at the slightest change in pressure and speed. I know a lot of beginner anime and manga artists have never even heard about dip pens before. It's not very commonly used outside of Japan. Just the thought of using them might even sound intimidating. But we've actually worked with a lot of beginner anime and manga artists who have never even touched a dip pen in their lives. And they were able to create amazing artworks. Here's something that our student Chrysandria made. She was able to do this in just one week after using dip pens. This one was done by our student Pauline. She was able to do this after just one month. This one was done by our student Jericho. He was already making his own original manga panels using dip pens after learning it for two months. Amazing, right? And I am very confident that with a bit of practice and a little bit of guidance, you can do this too. To get you started on your journey to becoming a manga artist, today we'll teach you the basics in using dip pens for your line art. We'll discuss everything you need to know about dip pen supplies, how a dip pen works, why manga artists use dip pens, how to use a dip pen for your manga line art, and how to care for your dip pens. In case this is your first time on our channel, our mission is to actually help aspiring anime and manga artists just like you feel more confident and fulfilled with your anime art. If you want to support this mission, please make sure to subscribe and like this video. In over a year, my team and I have actually helped over 200 aspiring anime and manga artists. They've learned how to draw with dip pens, they've learned how to color with Copic markers, they've learned how to create their own original characters. They feel so much more confident and fulfilled compared to from where they were before. If you want to take your anime art journey to the next level, then I want to invite you to join our free basic anime drawing masterclass. We'll put the link in the description. Please make sure to check it out. But before that, let's learn more about dip pens. First things first, you need to understand the parts of a dip pen. It's called a dip pen because you dip it in ink. It's also called a nib pen because the metal tip is called a nib. There are actually a lot of drawing nibs out there. They have different levels of flexibility and some can create thicker or finer lines than others. If you're a beginner, you should start out with a G pen nib, also called a G nib. It's the most versatile nib for drawing manga because you can use it to draw a wide range of thin and thick strokes with no problem. Another important part of a dip pen is the nib holder. There are a lot of types out there. Here, we're using one from Tachikawa. It's great to get something with a soft rubber grip. When you're drawing for a long time, your finger might start to hurt and the rubber grip definitely helps. The more comfortable you are, the better your lines will be. To join your nib and pen holder together, simply put the nib inside the empty slot. Of course, your dip pen won't work without ink. There are a ton of brands out there to choose from, and you can just choose based off of your needs. If you're not sure what to buy and just want something economical to try out, we recommend going with the standard Indian ink. Just be careful not to get it wet because it's not waterproof. If you're after quality, use something that's waterproof, fast drying, and Copic proof. One of our favorites is the Kaime Manga ink. Lastly, choose your paper wisely. Make sure to use something that's thick so your ink doesn't bleed. We also recommend getting something high quality so your nib doesn't snag on the fibers. A brand that works great with dip pens is Deleter Comic Book Paper. This was specially made for making manga. It comes in different types, 
There's the plain one, and there's another type that already has guidelines. When you're creating a manga, you don't have to manually draw the guides yourself. In this video, we will be using the plain type. We gave you an overview of the basic depend supplies that you need. But the best advice we could give you is to not overthink it. Just get basic depend supplies and practice. That's the most important part, practicing. If you want a more detailed guide on the materials, we actually have a free depend guide for beginners and we'll put the link in the description. How do depends work? With a normal pen, you never have to worry about running out of ink. But with a dip pen, you're gonna have to dip into your ink bottle. Again and again and again. To prevent the ink from blotting, make sure to dip the nib only until the ink covers the hole in the middle. When you're finally ready to draw your first line, hold your dip pen like this while ensuring that the open side of your nib is facing down. You may ask yourself, why don't manga artists just use normal pens? Wouldn't it make life so much simpler? No need to buy all these different materials, no need to keep dipping in ink. But actually, once you get used to it, using a dip pen is way faster than using multi-liners. Manga artists need to use different line variations to make their artworks look interesting. The problem with multi-liners is that you need to switch around. Want a thicker line? Switch to a thicker pen. Want a thinner line? Switch to a thinner pen. If you use a dip pen, one single nib can solve everything. For thin lines, you only need light pressure. And for thicker lines, simply just press a little bit harder. Easy, right? Just a disclaimer, you still need to practice using dip pens first to master how it truly works. We highly recommend doing warm-up exercises before you ink your drawing. If you need help with this, we actually have a video that would help you practice basic shading techniques with your dip pens. You can just click the card at the top. How to use your dip pen for line art. As a beginner, we highly recommend you first practice with something simple. You can do a chibi drawing or a mascot character Usually, the line art will be more simplified. You don't want to overwhelm yourself on your first try, okay? To give you an idea of what to do, we'll show you how to ink Pikachu from Pokemon. Start by doing the outline of the character, using slight pressure to create thick strokes. You can go over the outline multiple times to make it even thicker. After every four dips into the ink, make sure to wipe the nib clean. This is so the ink never dries on your nib. You don't want that to happen because your ink won't flow as smoothly. When you're drawing details such as the face or hair strands or even folds on clothes, you want to use thinner lines. You'll notice that there are different line variations in this artwork. Pikachu's silhouette has the thickest outline. And then we use thinner outlines on the floral background and even thinner lines for the details. Having this variety will help different elements pop out from your artwork. Depending on the type of ink and paper you use, your line art will stay wet for a while. You want to avoid touching it and smudging your work. You can flip the paper around to get access to the difficult areas. To be safe, give some time for your ink to dry after you're done. Don't erase your pencil lines or color your line art right away. You might just accidentally ruin your artwork. How to care for your dip pen. When you're done using your dip pen, don't just carelessly put everything away. Because the nib of your dip pens are made of metal, it's important to wipe the ink off after every use. While you're at it, wipe any ink off the pen holder too. If you just keep it like that, it'll definitely stain. If you accidentally let the ink dry on the nib, no problem. Just wipe it off with some alcohol, or if it's really stubborn, submerge the nib in warm water. Wipe the excess water off and then just let it dry. If you don't take care of your nib, they can end up becoming rusty and you won't be able to use them anymore. 
Using dip pens can be tricky, but once you get the hang of them, they're a great way to level up your manga line art. If you have any more questions about dip pens, leave a comment down below and we'll try our best to answer. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Again, we're here to help beginner anime and manga artists just like you transform your anime art journey, feel more confident, feel more satisfied, feel more fulfilled, passionate, excited about your art. Don't forget to watch our free basic anime drawing masterclass. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. We'll see you in the next one.